Hey folks, so uh, I got up this morning, or rather this afternoon, because I'm working the night shift at the moment, and I did my usual routine, make some breakfast, make a little coffee, watch the news, turn on the computer, see what's going on in the world, and as usual these days, I'm being flooded with videos, articles, comments, whatever, on social justice. People foaming at the mouth, screaming at other people how incredibly racist they are for not being racist. And how incredibly sexist they are for not being sexist and not wanting to be sexist. And basically saying that how much of a, how much of a hate crime it is to advocate actual equality. It's, it's nuts. It's nuts. If you, if you have a problem with a racist hate group out there, that proves that you're a racist. It's, it's, it's insane. Now, as a lot of you may, may know, I've been dealing with this for, for a while now, and I'm just trying to figure out why, why, what, what the hell is going on with people these days. Now, I recently turned 40, so one could say, well, you're just a little out of touch with reality and kids these days, and it's a whole new era out there, and yeah, I'm willing to accept that. If it wasn't for the fact that it isn't just young people. This shit is happening across the board. People who are older than me, they just they just swallow the Kool-Aid and they're going all wrong. <laughs> they're just going with it. Just calling people racist for not being racist. It's 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 insane. And I'm just trying to figure out why. Why? And I I've been thinking and searching high and low and I just can't find the answer because it, it makes no sense. It defies all logic. So in my, well, one could say my moment of desperation, I turned to the good book. I mean, people always say when you hit rock bottom, when there's no more way out, there is always one way out. So I figured I'd take a peek. And by golly, I found the answer, ladies and gentlemen. Who knew? Who knew? I give you 2 Thessalonians 2, verse 8 to 12. Correction, 9 to 12. My bad. The coming of the lawless one will be in accordance with how Satan works. He will use all sorts of displays of power through signs and wonders that serve the lie. And all the ways that wickedness deceives those who are perishing. They perish because they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. For this reason God sends them a powerful delusion so that they will believe the lie. And so that all will be condemned who have not believed the truth but have delighted in wickedness. And that is exactly what is going on these days with social judgment, social justice. It is pure wickedness and they relish in it and they, they spread out this lie as if it's the truth. It's, it's the only thing that makes sense. So uh, read your Bible folks, the answers are in here. And this clearly says, Satan is about to come, the rapture is nigh. For the great delusion has already been poured out onto the people and they are they are drinking it. They are drinking this Kool-Aid, this satanic Kool-Aid by the gallon. So uh, yeah, turn to the Bible, repent and turn to Jesus Christ and refuse the Kool-Aid of the devil. Refuse social justice. I can only pray for those out there, those lost wicked souls. But turn to Jesus Christ, folks. Say no to social justice. Amen.